<laughs> Here they come. They about to walk through the door. The people who won't need a loan. Yeah, they ain't gonna need a loan to buy a house. Why am I laughing? <laughs> Because all them suckers are going to get subprime loans. They're going to get subprime loans. Oh, here they go. Here they go. How can I help you, sir? Um, well, I'm just looking for um, a loan. I have the property. I have the realtor. I'm going bank to bank. I'm not trying to really do it online to get my credit dinged up. Well, sir, if you want a loan here, we're going to have to run your credit. Well, I understand that. I am a member of this bank. So if you would, can we walk down some particulars so I can see what my rates will be? Okay, sir. Well, yeah, we see that you bank with us. Okay, great. Your account is in surplus of cash. Okay. But really, we'll have to run your credit to see what type of rates you get. Now, just to give you a history, sir, not that you know this, but the Federal Reserve meets several times a year. From 1947 to 2016, they meet several times within that year to discuss prime rate loans. And the prime rate loans has fluctuated from 1.75% to even 21.5% and even down to 3.7% as of late. Now, our current interest rates are around 3 to 4% for those prime rates. So with that information, sir, what we can do, we're gonna run your credit we want to see what your credit score is. So is there anything that we need to know before to run your credit? Well, you know, I have some dings on my credit and I think that's going to affect it. So, sir, did you work on your credit prior to coming in here that will actually raise your credit? Did you delete some inquiries? Did you delete some delinquent accounts? Did you pay off some accounts? What did you do to increase your credit score? Because we're going to have to run it and then we're going to give you what we think is the best possible rate for our bank, even though the banks don't tell you this. Okay, well, yeah, go ahead and run it because me and my wife, we really want this house. We have kids. We need some more space. We can't no longer live in an apartment. And, you know, we make a substantial amount of money. Okay, well, yeah, I see your, your employment history here, sir. Yes, you and your wife make pretty good money. You make around 130000 a year. That's pretty good. Um, and you can possibly afford a house up to $350,000. But let's see where you land. do 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 Okay, sir, your credit came back and you are below a 600 credit card score. Now, everyone knows prior to the recession, 720 was like that perfect score, even though we know that 800 and 850 is the perfect score. But now we're looking, those who are under 700 and you're even below 600, yeah, we're going to have to offer you some of our sub- prime rate subprime rates well sir what does subprime mean um not only that, that doesn't really mean the terminology don't get caught up in the wordage or the verbiage subprime simply means that you won't be getting one of our prime rates and that's really offered to those who are over 700 uh, credit score but nevertheless we can get you inside of a great loan and you'll be paying out the yin yang for years to come oh, excuse me paying out the yin yang no 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 don't get my words crossed sir you will be paying uh, the amount that you should be paying with your current credit score uh, what what does what, wait a minute what the fuck does all that mean what that mean is sir that you came in here with horrible credit you came in here with bad credit you came in here with poor credit and you didn't do your due diligence of waiting, of sacrificing, of raising your credit score by paying off your debt collections account, maybe some civil account, maybe some back bills, some things that want a collection, and also the many inquiries you have because you scour the nation looking for a loan, and now you're here, and I deem your credit so much, we have to offer you these subprime rates. Okay, so we need a house. So what are we looking at? Like I said before, sir, we're looking around 3.75%. And that's the prime rates right now, sir. But in your case, we're going to have to offer you, and I know this is a mortgage, this might seem quite high, but nevertheless, you can still afford that house. Okay, well, tell me, we're looking at around 10 or 11%. 10, 10 or 11% does double dip. My, 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 my buddy, he, 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 got, he has bad credit. He, he has a 5% loan. Well, sir, we're not in here to really negotiate percentages. 
Uh, underwriters actually handled that piece for us. I'm just giving you the list that we have here and based upon your credit and also your credit history, um, this is the best possible rate. And look at it this way, sir, you'll still be with your bank and this is probably the best you're going to get. Now you can shop around, but the more you shop around, it's gonna hurt your credit. <sighs> we really need this house. Um, we're just renting, we're not owning anything. I, 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 I guess we'll do this. Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Prime loans and subprime loans, whether it's for a mortgage or for a car, subprime means that you have poor credit. Plain and simple, layman's terms, you have poor credit. It doesn't matter if you're going for a house, you're going for a car, or whatever that item is that you're getting a loan from. Prime rates are for those with good to great credit. Now, prior to 2008, 720 was that perfect score that it got you over the threshold to those who had those 800 credit scores. Now, they dropped about 20 points. If you have 700, you're still in good shape. Now, even the high 600s, you're still doing okay, but you still need some work. But when you hit the 500s, when you hit the 500s, you're dirt in the streets. Your name is dirt in the streets. They're laughing when you're coming through the door. They're laughing when you're coming through the door. And you say, why? Can they picture a sucker when they come? They're really laughing at everybody until you sit down and they see your credit score. And they're like, oh, wow. Uh, so you're in our top tier customer rates. And here's some prime rates for you to look at depending on you doing a, fix, a 15 year fix or a 30 year fix, don't do variables. Don't do variable loans or arms or whatever they want to call them, fixed. And most likely, I will really push you into the 15 year fix, 15 year fix. Now granted, you know, I'm a realist. I'm just gonna be real with you, mine's 30. Mine's 30. Should I wait 15? Yes, would I raise my payments on my mortgage? Yes, but I should have done 15. Cause I figure it like this. If I did 15, I would have owned that house before I'm 60. I'm going to own that house before I'm 60. But another 30 years, the time when I own my house, I'm going to be 60 something. You get what I'm trying to say? So sometimes you have to look at the loan and what you're buying and how long you're going to pay for it, right? And then how old you're going to be. Because quite frankly, I want to own that house before I die to pass that down to who? My kids, okay? My kids. I might split the house in court. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to split the house up. I'm just going to give it to one person and let them do whatever they want to do. Now, I know some of you guys out there got family trinkets and heirlooms and blah, blah, blah. Now, listen, guys. Um, I'm not going to get into those things. I know some people, you guys cherish certain things that your grandparents left you. But I'm just going to say this one thing and I'm going to let you ponder on it. All materialistic. All materialistic. Your grandmother, your grandfather, your mother, your father could have had a certain item. He had his pipe. He always smoked out of his pipe. That thing is priceless. Yes, the memories in that pipe is priceless. But when you are old and you give that item to your kids or to your cousins or whoever you leave it to in your will or your trust, they may sell it. They may sell it for 50 bucks, but you'll be dead. So it doesn't really matter. All these are materialistic things that society has put a price on. They're just things. That pipe had only significance while you were living. I'm off of it, I'm off of it. Subprime and prime rate loans. Subprime, you have horrible credit, you have poor credit, and they see the sucker coming. Now let me tell you this, if you already have a house, if you already have a condo, if you already have a car, and you're looking for these loans, and you know your credit isn't right, you know your credit isn't right. You know your credit isn't right. Don't fucking go get a loan. Why incur debt? Now, first and foremost, first and foremost, go buy that house when you have $150,000 to pay for it outright. When you have $200,000 to pay for it outright. Okay, that's not feasible. Okay, get your credit in order then. Go buy that car when you have $30,000 saved up. When you have $30,000 saved up. Oh, that's not feasible. Go when you have your credit together. My credit rate on my car, I want to say is 3.5, 3.6. Now, granted, there are some people out there with 
2%. I'm envious. I've said this before. I'm envious. But I think I'm okay with my car rate. I'm okay with my car interest rate. But you, subprime, you see how they say sub? You below the prime members. Remember prime numbers and subprime numbers? You're a subprime. So understand the mathematics in that. Understand that they are calling you below somebody. Prime, subprime. More than you, less. More than you, you are less. So understand the difference between subprime and prime. You want to be prime, don't you? You want to be prime. You want to be at the pinnacle. You want to be at the top. You want to be at the plateau. You want to be at the tippity top of the hemisphere and falling down to the stratosphere. Astrology, look it up. Big boy stuff. So understand the difference between subprime and prime. I'm not going to be the hole in your head. Don't go out there and get a high interest subprime loan. See that? See the mind trickery? See the fuckery in that? High interest subprime. Prime, low interest. Hmm. Ponder on that. This is Ross World where, listen, we're going to get our credit together before we go ask these people for their money because in the end, they the ones getting paid. I'm out.